Playwright's Connect Over CDP method is the most powerful playwright method that you've never heard of. It could have easily been called Hijack Web Browser, which is what the Connect Over CDP method actually does. But due to other implications, you can't really call it that. And if Microsoft did do that, then security researchers from all over the world would be jumping at Microsoft saying, how could you possibly create such a method? Well, the method does exist. It's just Connect Over CDP. And it basically lets you take control of an existing Chromium browser via the remote debugging port, and then Playwright can do whatever it wants with that web browser. ChatGPT also summarizes it quite nicely. It connects to an already running Chromium-based browser using the Chrome DevTools protocol, and it uses that ability via the remote debugging port. So any Chromium browser will have these features that will allow you to have Playwright use the connect over CDP method to take control of that web browser and do whatever it wants with it. And if you look through the Playwright code base, you can see that there's connect over CDP all over it. Here's the example from the regular Microsoft Playwright repo. And here's the same thing, but with the Microsoft Playwright Python repo, you can see the connect over CDP method. And then here's an example where the URL is being passed and it contains the remote debugging port. So there's that, which basically lets you connect Playwright to an already opened browser via this remote debugging port. And this allows the Playwright browser to basically inherit the abilities that this other Chromium browser already had. So essentially, it gains control of that browser and all the superpowers that or abilities that that browser had. Now, if this sounds like something from a movie or a TV show, you're probably right. I asked ChatGBT about it, and they basically said that there are several known villains from various shows, such as Siler from the TV series Heroes, that basically can take powers away from people. And there's also Rogue from X-Men, which uh, she can absorb powers by touching someone and, and then she gains their superpowers. But that is essentially what Playwright is doing with the connect over CDP method. There's already an existing browser running. Playwright comes in, calls connect over CDP, takes over that browser, and then gains those browser's abilities and then can, you can run any Playwright method from within that new instance. So in this example here, we have a web browser that's being spun up by Selenium Base, a completely separate framework. And then once we've grabbed the endpoint URL, we can feed that endpoint URL into the connect over CDP method, which then makes Playwright take over that web browser and gain all its special abilities. So let's run an example of that just so you can see how that works. This is the raw basic sync.py example from the Selenium Ace examples CDP mode playwright folder. So let's go run Python raw basic sync.py. Selenium Base is gonna spin up the browser, but then playwright comes, takes control of it, and then can do whatever it wants with that browser because the connect over CDP method is really powerful. Let's take a look at the script. Let's open raw basic sync.py. And you can see here is the code for that. We're gonna be importing Playwright. We're gonna be importing Selenium Base. We're gonna spin up a Selenium Base browser. We're gonna grab the endpoint URL. And then we're going to feed that endpoint URL into the Playwright connect over CDP method which then allows Playwright to take control of that web browser. And then after some default setup steps that you'll see with regular Playwright scripts, you can then call regular Playwright methods such as page.goto with a URL, and then do all your other Playwright methods. And you can still use the existing methods of whatever framework browser that you took over. For instance, here we're calling a slunning based method, which just sleeps for one second. So you can see the last page before the browser closes at the end, basically allowing you to combine all the abilities of your first framework with your second framework 
and now Playwright has all the powers. So if we just put in a breakpoint right here, we're going to pause execution just so you can see that the browser was spun up with Selenium Base, and then we're going to continue from the debugger so you can see Playwright coming in and taking control and basically doing whatever it wants with that browser. So let's run that again. Let's do python raw basic sync.py. We're going to run that from the command line. You can see that the browser paused and now we're in a breakpoint. So we're going to go into the line where it does page.go to because we've just run connect over CDP. And now if we go back to the browser, we can see that it went to that page. So basically, you have all the APIs that Selenium Base has because that was the original browser, and you have all the APIs that Playwright also includes. So for instance, if you do page dot and then hit the tab key, you can see all 109 possibilities. So here are all the Playwright methods that are available to you from within this special browser session. In addition to that, you also have all the Selenium Base methods that you can add in on top of that. So for instance, sp dot and then hit the tab key, you can see 188 possibilities. And then you have all the Selenium based methods there as well. So essentially, when you combine the connect over CDP that Playwright has with another automation framework, you have the abilities of both automation frameworks. It's like some super villain coming in, taking someone else's powers from, you know, from like a superhero and then it's able to basically use those powers with its own abilities. And that's essentially what we have here. So if the framework that you take over has maybe a stealth ability that lets it bypass captures, then all of a sudden Playwright gains the ability to bypass captures in that web browser. So let's do an example of that. So let's take a look at some of the examples that we already have here. For instance, there's a special Bing CAPTCHA. Let's open up that example. That would be Python raw Bing Cap Sync, but let's first open it up so that you can see what it looks like. So here you can see we're going to go into the bing.com slash Turing CAPTCHA challenge page, and there's gonna be a CAPTCHA there and we're going to see if Playwright becomes stealthy once it takes over that Selenium-based browser that already had a stealth ability inside CDP mode. So let's run that. So this is raw bing cap sync. So let's do python raw bing cap sync.py. And it's going to spin up a web browser. There's a capture there verifying and success showing that Playwright gained the ability to bypass that CAPTCHA. So let's see what else we've got there. Let's see. Aha, let's do a Copilot example because usually they throw a CAPTCHA at you if you're going too fast. However, Selenium Base has a method, solve CAPTCHA, that can bypass a CAPTCHA and then Playwright will inherit that method too with the connect over CDP method. So let's do open raw copilot sync so you can see what that code looks like here it is selenium base spins up the browser and then playwright comes in takes control you can see all these methods there and you can see that in some cases you may need to solve a captcha and selenium base already has that method so we're going to call it from there so let's run that method let's do python raw copilot sync.py. All right, so we're going in and Sunning Base spins up the web browser. We encounter a CAPTCHA because Playwright took over, but now Sunning Base has the solve CAPTCHA method, which lets you bypass that CAPTCHA. And now you can see information about using the connect over CDP method with Playwright. So this shows that Playwright is able to gain new abilities like stealth abilities and the ability to bypass CAPTCHAs just by taking over a framework's browser that already has those special stealth abilities imbued in it. So that was the example with Copilot and Playwright and Selenium Base, basically combining the, the two frameworks together because 
Playwright's connect over CDP method lets you do that. Now let's try another example. Let's open up the raw seat geek example. That's going to be an example of another web page that's going to have bot detection on it. We're going to launch the stealthy web browser with Selenium Base and grab the endpoint URL. And again, Playwright is going to come in, take control of that web browser, and then you're going to see Playwright code that basically does most of the other work, but then Selenium Base comes in and solves captures or whatnot if need be. So let's do a search for Jerry Seinfeld tickets with the Playwright example here. So let's do Python raw seatgeeksync.py and we're going to open that up so slanting base is spinning up the web browser and then playwrights using connect over cdp to take control of it and do a search for jerry seinfeld tickets and as you can see here playwright inherited the stealth abilities that slanting base had in order to get that information so this is an easy example of playwright coming in and absorbing the superpowers of any framework that it wants to take over because the connect over cdp method lets you do that it's very powerful playwright can essentially do whatever it wants with any web browser because you can just take control of it assuming it's a chromium based browser and then it gets all those abilities it gains the methods of that and you basically have a super framework that can do anything and this is the power that Playwright has. There are a few other examples that you might want to check out from there. Let's see, let's do the Walmart example. That's a good one. So let's open that up just to take a look. Open raw Walmart sync.py and you'll see that it has a lot of code here. So Sunny Base basically just spins up the stealthy web browser. Then Playwright takes over it, as you can see here. And then it combines some Playwright methods with some Selenium based methods. And then essentially you can do whatever you want. There's a lot more flexibility because you can use the methods of either framework. And let's run that just so you can see how that works. Let's do Python raw Walmart sync dot py. And let's see if Playwright's able to still be stealthy when it inherits Selenium Base's stealth abilities. Here we go. We're going to search for the Settlers of Catan board game. And you can see here that results came through showing that Playwright was able to grab all this data and be stealthy because it inherited the superpowers that Selenium Base has, which is the ability to turn any Chromium browser into an anti-detect browser. And so Playwright now has those abilities too. So if you're wondering more about the Selenium Base integration that I have for Playwright, I've basically created a thing called Stealthy Playwright Mode, which spins up a stealthy browser with Selenium Base, and then Playwright uses its connect over CDP method to take over that stealthy web browser, and then it's able to do whatever it wants and still be stealthy. So generally, Playwright by itself is not that stealthy, but when combined with another framework that is stealthy and the connect over CDP method, Playwright essentially has the superpowers that it needs to basically do whatever web scraping that it wants to do. So that is stealthy Playwright mode, and there's gonna be a lot more information on that in future videos that I'll be posting to YouTube. So be sure to like and subscribe if you like the content, and I will see you all next time. Happy automating.